Alberto Road here with Road Trip Bridge and John Roebling. We're gonna check out his bridge here, the Roebling Bridge. When the John A. Roebling Suspension Bridge opened in 1867, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world. All right, Richie boy, where you going? Yeah, I'm walking the other side. So what when, What little bit I do know about John Roebling is he's actually the guy that after he designed this bridge, I think the sign we read said it opened in, what, 1867? Uh, I think but so. after uh, that point, this bridge here, the John A. Roebling Suspension Bridge, is what he based the Brooklyn Bridge in New York off of. So that's why you see the similar design and everything. Huh? Good views of the uh, Reds Great American Ballpark. Couple bridges over. I don't know if you can make it out, but that's the uh, Purple People's Bridge. And this road here is all metal deck. So that's why it's so loud when these cars go over here. Now, watch how quickly I catch up to Rich here. I let him get a head start on me sometimes just to make him feel good. Very beautiful bridge, so. What do we get there? It's building in Cincinnati, the Great American Building, Great American Insurance. Kind of see through the uh, gratings here, that's the Cincinnati Bengals Stadium, Paul Brown Stadium. Rich, you start getting tired, let me know, buddy. I'm all good. <laughs> Well, you hear how silent it is without any cars coming. Let's see what we got out here. John A. Roebling was born in 1806 in Germany and passed away in 1869, just a couple years after this bridge had been completed. John's design for the Brooklyn Bridge was completed after his death by his son, Washington Roebling. Once completed, the Brooklyn Bridge surpassed this one as the longest suspension bridge in the world. Some kind of work up there doing that. Yeah, probably any falling rocks or I mean, uh, bricks from that, probably to catch that. Yeah. Now, Rich, way to take the bridge here. A little noisy? A little noisy. Mm -hmm. It's a cool bridge. 1865? No, 1867. Well, on uh, uh, there was a plaque on one of the uh, I think it's in 1865. I can't think of that. Uh, That's probably, uh, it, it officially opened in 1867. That might be when they began construction. I don't know, we'll do a little research after, after this and just see the details all added in there. Hope you enjoyed this walk from the state of Kentucky into the state of Ohio. And who knows where the toll road will lead to next.